Right, so in this video we're going to look at the same thing, so exploring data, but this time a very subtle difference when you explore data that is between subjects rather than within subjects. So if now we open up the age word rep file that we created before, there we go, and again we'll just get rid of this fresh output file, and we will open up the output file for the age word rep data. There it is. Great. So here's my between subjects data. I've got the adults, their word rep score, their non-word rep score, and then the older adults down there. So just as before, I go analyze, descriptive statistics, explore. And this time you'll see that again I've got each of the columns is over in this left hand box. So I'm going to put the things I've measured, my dependent variables, into the dependent list. And then the column that defines my different groups goes into factor list. Statistics, same as before, I want my descriptives and I want outliers. Plots, I want histograms, don't want stem and leaf and then I will highlight the normality plots with tests. There we go. And again, click OK. And just as before, SPSS chugs away. And once it's given me my output, I'm going to give that a title. and normality and then I'm going to do the same thing up here. Age, repetition and descriptors and normality. Again it doesn't really matter what the title is as long as it makes it easy for you to know what this particular section of the output is referring to. So what you'll notice is that I've told SPSS what my different groups are so it's actually separated the data here into word repetition score for adults and older adults, non-word repetition score for adults and older adults. Which is what we wanted it to do. And that's why when you use explore it's important then to use that grouping column into the facts list variable because then your data will be divided up amongst the groups that you've got. So again in the lecture we'll go through what all of this means, but otherwise that's it.